Mm -hmm. What will happen? Will it cook together and uh, just totally grow together? We will find out. Into the tube she goes. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm up in the mountains. Oh, it's such a lovely day. There's snow on the ground, but it's starting to melt. Oh, it feels like an awesome spring day. And today I'm gonna try out my solar cooker again. I'm gonna see if it works in colder weather. And I'm gonna see if I can make some pizza. If that goes well, I might make some cookies. Such a beautiful day, such a beautiful location. And we'll see if I can make some pizza up in the mountains. Okay, so if you haven't seen this yet, this is the solar oven. I have a couple other videos on how it works, but uh, the food goes in the tube and this goes out in the sun. Here's the tube and it cooks. So today, let's see if we can make some pizza. You can cook in the tray or you can put these little silicone cups in and uh, cook in two little cups. But I'm just gonna use the full tray and I'm gonna line it with some uh, parchment paper. So first I'm gonna cut up some mushrooms and I got a new knife. I'm excited to use it. it has a little cover and it's a little smaller than my other one. A little bit easier for me to Wield. It's sharp. So it's going to be a mushroom, olive, and garlic pizza. I mostly eat a vegan diet, which is uh, no meat, no cheese, no eggs. I love pizza though. Man, it's one of my favorite foods. Yeah, I like this knife. Mm, I love garlic. Oh, and olives, okay. Check out this little gadget I just got. So this is where I keep all my cooking stuff. And uh, this is like a little backpack and it works great for storage because it cinches up. Uh, oh, this is so cool. It's a little spice thing. I've got salt. Uh, what is that? I forget. Oh, that's just pepper. <laughs> it looks green. But okay, salt, pepper, uh, Italian seasoning, ginger, and cinnamon. So I don't know. If you had to pick five spices, what would you pick? So, and then these uh, little guys just flip up. So, yay, I can't wait to use it. Okay, time for the crust. So I got this pre-rolled dough at the store. It's pizza crust. Maybe I'll make a cut out here of the, about the right side, about the right width here. Maybe have it go up the sides a bit, make a little tray out of it. Maybe I'll make a little crust here. So uh, it doesn't cook very good on this end. So it really works best if you can flip it halfway through. So I'm gonna put this little pull tab in here so that I can get to it when it's hot. Pull it out. See if I can get both sides to cook evenly here. Okay, so I've got some pizza sauce. I don't want to put in too much and have it be soggy. So maybe, I don't know, should I dump some out? 
kind of just trying to coat the whole thing here. Well, that's a lot of sauce. It doesn't dry out in the cooker. If anything, it kind of steams. So, well, we'll see. That might be a little too much sauce, but fill it up with mushrooms, some olives. Oh, this is going to be so good. A little bit of garlic. And it's a whole sphere that you're putting it in, so you can pile it up pretty good. You can't hang over at all, but you can go up. All right, so maybe a dash of salt. Okay, a dash of pepper. And some Italian seasoning. Oh, this thing is so cool. Love it. Okay, here's our pizza. Time to go in the oven. So I just slide it in. Get our little tabs tucked in here. I slide my little thing open that holds it open. And this is a little dial that I can see the reflection of the sun to make sure it's positioned correctly. So now let's go find a spot for it. So I'm up here in the trees uh, and there's a sunny spot right here. I might try that first. I might have to move it as the sun moves with the shadows here. Okay, so it's fully in the sun here. Will it cook in the mountains, in the snow? It's probably about, I don't know, maybe 50 degrees up here. Let's see if it works. Oh no, I forgot the most important part. <laughs> the cheese. I got some vegan cheese. Let me see if I can pop some in there. <laughs> Okay, I wonder if this is going to work. It's already warm. It's just been in there a minute or two. All right, well, we'll just have a little bit of cheese. <laughs> The cheese melts all over the inside here. It's so close now. I suppose I could put wrap all around it. Hmm. I think it'll shrink down. I think it'll be okay. And the tube is pretty easy to clean. You just uh, get a little brush. It comes with a little round brush that goes inside. And it's, it's pretty anti-stick. Okay, <laughs> pizza with cheese now. Let me adjust this just a little bit more. There we go. Now my reflection's right in the middle of my uh, gauge here. So here's a couple things I've learned with the solar cooker. Cooking between 11 and 2 is really uh, a good time. After two, three, four, I mean, depends on your latitude, of course, but longitude. Depends on where you are in the world <laughs> and what time of year and all that sort of stuff. The lower the sun is in the sky, the longer it takes to cook if it cooks. So there's a small window in which you can cook. Uh, obviously, you have to find some sun. But what a cool way to bake things. Have pizza, maybe some cookies. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so it's been 24 minutes. Let's see if she's ready to turn. Oh. Oh. The cheese melted all over the tube. <laughs> Gonna have to clean it before the cookies. OK, 
Okay, the crust is starting to firm up here. Good. And back in she goes. Okay, I think it's about done. Let's see, it's been in about 47 minutes. It's stuck. Oh, it smells so good. Well, not quite, a little bit longer. Okay guys, it's been a little over an hour and I think it's ready. Let's take a look. Oh, it's sizzling. It smells so good. It's a little stuck there. Oh, it looks great. The crust is just starting to brown. How cool is this? It's very hot. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. I'll show you the crust here. So it got nice and toasty. Not quite as done on the edges. But the middle is nice and crispy. Okay, now that I've totally scorched my mouth. <laughs> I don't know if I can taste. Maybe I should have used a little less pizza sauce? I don't know. It's a little uh, doughy inside. I don't know how it'll be in the middle though. This is still the end. Tastes great. Pizza in the mountains. My cheese melted, kind of. I don't know if the cheese was worth it because it kind of gummed up my tube here. I might put some water in it and uh, boil it. See if I can clean it up quick and uh, still have some time for the cookies. This is great though. The seasonings really uh, added to it. The little bit of salt, the um, Italian seasoning, really made a big difference. It's not really, now that I'm getting into the middle though, it's, it's cooked pretty well throughout. So it's just the edges. And it's quite a bit of pizza actually. It doesn't look like that much, but. Because it's a lot of fillings. And this whole thing is filled to the brim with toppings. I don't know, what would you call this? Does it still count as pizza, even though it's a boat? Maybe a pizza boat? <laughs> okay, so the pizza's done. I'm gonna clean up my uh, melted cheese tube here and see if we can pop some cookies in before it gets too late. It's about two o'clock, so it's nearing the low sun time and I'm in the trees, so I don't know how the sun's gonna go. So I gotta hurry up. Get the tube cleaned out and see if we can get some cookies made today too. Okay, I filled the tube up with water here. Let's see if we can Let's see if I can just cradle it in the snow here. Okay, I'll leave that going for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and see if I can clean it up easily. It's been in the sun for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes and it's steaming. So let's see how it cleans up here. I forgot the brush at home. Comes with this really great cleaning bar brush, but. Okay, time to make cookies. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same parchment paper trick. And I have some lovely cookie dough. <laughs> okay, so what shape should I make them? 
If I make them balls, I don't know if they'll cook all the way through. I could line it. Maybe I'll line it and then like cut it up into cookies. I think that's what I'll do. I'll do a flat, oh, a big long flat uh, cookie boat. <laughs> Mm, what will happen? Will it cook together and uh, just totally grow together? We will find out. Into the tube she goes. Okay, I'm definitely running out of pure sunlight here. Okay, here's a sunny spot. Okay, let's see how long it takes. So as I'm waiting for the cookies to bake, I'll share with you one of the things I love about the van, so I don't live in my van full time. I have a house, uh, but I do go away for the summer for quite a while. But in the winter, um, I just do trips. So with the van, I decided late last night, okay, I don't have anything tomorrow, I'm gonna go out. I had to charge some batteries, make sure they were topped off. And this morning I took my pillow off my bed and threw it in the back of the van put a couple clothes in a bag, grabbed my toiletry bag, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> like I already had water in the van. I already have some food in the van. Uh, it's totally ready to go. And I can just hop in the van and be in the mountains and be camping with very little preparation. You can be totally spontaneous. And when I get home, I don't have a ton of stuff to unpack. Everything stays in the van. Uh, it's just been the best addition to my life. It really has. I get up to the mountains and I get outdoors so much more than I did. And it's one of my favorite things to do is to get outside. So anyway, that was a long rant, but if you're not full time and you just are interested in van camping, uh, it's really cool. <laughs> okay guys, let's see how they're doing. I can smell them from here. Uh oh, they're a little burned. <laughs> oh, there's lots of cookie inside. Uh oh. <laughs> huh, looks good though. It smells good. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it smells so good. So it's really interesting to see how differently everything bakes in this thing. Like the apple pie that I made in a previous video and the pizza dough. Those both kind of cooked like steam buns. So they didn't, they sort of browned, but this definitely uh, cooked, I don't know, it, it cooked differently, maybe because of the sugar in it. Okay, this time I'm not going to burn my mouth as badly as I did with the pizza. <laughs> oh, how long have I been alive? <laughs> All right, so it didn't quite turn into a cookie boat. Huh, interesting, it's pretty doughy. So it browned, kind of burned on the outside edge, but the inside is, is doughy still. Huh, interesting. Patience, patience. So not quite cookies, but warm heaven nonetheless. <laughs> oh, this is really good actually. <laughs> Because it's like cookie dough-ish, but cooked through. I'm going to take off this outside layer here that's kind of starting to burn. Let's see what happens if I put it back in. starting to get chilly. Okay, so like I said, doughy, but uh, burn doughy. Hmm, still not really uh, crisping up at all. Very odd, huh? Well, I'll just have to um, suffer through and eat these misshapen uh, cookies. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> it's an interesting consistency though. 
like it's kind of caramelized ish but still really chewy i don't know if this dessert really holds up to the solar cooker not like the pizza the pizza i'd totally do again i think it's an awesome treat really fun to make great payout so pizza yes cookies meh meh i don't know i need to find a, a better dessert i think I don't know. What other desserts do you think I could try in here? Let me know, all you bakers out there. <laughs> all right, well, I hope you enjoyed um, coming up to the mountains with me today. Maybe my solar cooker gave you some ideas. <laughs> and thanks for coming along with my cooking journey. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.